Everyone in Fontaine loves Monsieur Nouvellet, but no one really knows him. One could be forgiven for assuming he is the Hydro Archon, with his absolute embodiment of the concept of justice and his elegant and regal bearing. All the citizens of Fontaine are in awe and admiration of him, including the Melazines, who believe him to be the perfect representation of a father. And he seems to possess an uncanny command of the hydro element, affecting the very weather around him through his emotions. So, exactly who is he? Well, this is the unlikely Genshin Gamer, and welcome to my investigation into our sad resident dragon in disguise, Nouvellet. If you haven't done the Archon Quest for Fontaine, you may want to come back afterwards because there will be some spoilers for that quest, and you really shouldn't be spoiled before doing it. Now, it's almost certain that Nouvellet isn't really human, and it would appear that people in Fontaine are aware of this. Nouvellet himself doesn't really seem to be trying to hide the idea that he may not be human. He refers to human emotion as though it is a concept he is learning rather than a phenomena he himself would experience if he were the same as everyone around him. Navia, strangely enough, seemed to believe this as well when she spoke to him about understanding and expressing human emotions properly while they stood at Callus's grave. At the same time, it could be said that she meant it as giving a rather cold fellow person pointers on expressing himself properly. But I find the way they both use the term humans to be odd. Also, no one else in the opera Epicles seemed surprised by Nouvellet's show of power when he took down one of the strongest harbingers in one stroke, even though a vision can't be found anywhere on him. His in-game model is slightly taller than the normal men, like our other resident non-human, Arataki Ito. And Monsieur Nouvellet is the only character so far with both pointed ears and the controversial Vishap eyes. Which brings us back to Encanomia and an ancient prophecy which implies that Nouvellet may very well not only be superhuman, but actually be the newly reincarnated Hydro Dragon Sovereign. Some of you may remember the Three Realms Gate event in Encanomia, where we were introduced to the concept of Vishap people by the lovable, scheming Pyro Abyss Lector, Anju. He told us that Bathysmal Vishaps, which only live down in the depths, are extremely adaptable to the point of being able to quickly evolve to look just like people, leaving only snake-like pupils to distinguish them from normal people. What's more, the Bathysmal Vishaps are the subjects of the Primordial Dragons the original entities in Tevat who ruled over the elements long before the Archons. Any replacements to the ranks of those dragons was to come from these bishops. But there is a prophecy found in the infamous book Before Sun and Moon about the new hydro dragon being born in the form of a human because the present bishops have become unpure. It is extremely likely that that newborn dragon is Chief Justice Nouvellet. Of course, this theory is helped by that sweet little legend Fremine's mother used to tell him about how when the hydro dragon is sad, it will reign in the city, and the fact that Nouvellet's emotions are heavily implied to be connected to the weather. Where she heard this legend from, or how she knows at all of the existence of a hydro dragon, is not yet clear and adds to my theory about Fontanians knowing more about Tevat than they let on. Nouvellet also appears to be very old, at least by human standards anyway. The Melazines, who are the children of the Abyss Dragon Elinus, say that Nouvellet took up his post as the Chief Justice long before they appeared. 
If we hypothesize that LNS appeared around the time of the cataclysm, and that sometime after that is when the melazines appeared, then that makes Nouvellet at least somewhat older than 500 years old, which is young for a dragon, but supernaturally old for a human. Him being non-human is basically proven by this point. And although the possibility of him being a sovereign dragon is less ironclad, all the current clues seem to point in that direction. So, if we accept that he really isn't human, then the mystery surrounding him only grows. Why does he, rather than Farina, seem to more faithfully represent the concept of justice? In the courtroom, he presides over every trial with a diligence that Farina does not. People in Fontaine feel as though they'd be cheated if the person in the judgment seat was the Hydro Archon herself. Yet, her ideal is said to be justice. Was he around when the previous Hydro Archon died? Does he know what led to her death? How much does he know about what's really going on in Tevat? And since he was aware of the presence of primordial water before that fateful trial, did he know it could kill Fontanians? Does he know anything else about it? Can he be affected by it as a Fontanian if he really isn't human? There are a lot of questions circulating Chief Justice Nublet. And I can't wait for further Archon quests and World Quests to find out more. Nublet strikes me as someone who knows far more than he seems to, but isn't aware that he knows it. To put it another way, I say that Nublet is a baby dragon because he seems to be unlearned in some ways that an older, more jaded entity just wouldn't be. And his gentle, soft-spoken demeanor seems to contradict the idea of an exceedingly old dragon sovereign who would have learned to dislike the humans that the dragon's realm was destroyed to accommodate. Nouvellet seeks to understand and integrate with humans. Only a whisper of his power appears in the courtroom when upholding the precious concept of justice, or when he's sad and the hydro in the very atmosphere above Fontaine responds to him. As more info comes out about him, such as his teaser and story quests and Dainsleaf's comments about him in his miscellany, the mystery surrounding Monsieur Nouvellet should become clearer. But, knowing Hoyoverse, we may very well end up with more questions than answers. So, what are your thoughts on our Chief Justice and his mysterious background? Are you pulling for him, Ryothesli, or waiting for Farina? Let me know in the poll on my profile page. My primos are still wavering between the two guys. As a Welkin BP spender, I need to choose wisely, but I absolutely can't wait for more lore on all of them. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Enjoy Fontaine, and I'll see you in the next one.